Welcome to the 20 Minute Ag Manager webinar series, Good to Great in Ag Labor Management. In only four minutes. In this video summary of the webinar, we will go over the components of an employee handbook for your farm business and some issues to consider. I'm your host, Liz Higgins, with the Cornell Cooperative Extension Eastern New York Commercial Hort Team. So why should you have an employee manual for your farm? One reason is employee manuals are another tool you can use to communicate your farm's business culture and workplace environment expectations. They also provide consistency in policy implementation and process. This can help provide guidance for making decisions and reduce confusion about rules. Developing an employee handbook is a chance to assess your employment policies before there's a crisis. You can have them reviewed by staff, as well as with a lawyer, and in some states like New York, the Department of Labor, to ensure that they are fair, implementable, and legal. You should set up your employee manual to meet the needs of your farm. However, many handbooks include the following sections. The introduction is where you provide your employees information about the farm, its history, vision, and mission. It's also a good place to provide information about the management structure, including names and contact information and areas of responsibility for all the managers. The staffing section covers the hiring process, how people are assessed for performance, and how decisions about promotion are made. It also lays out your expectations for training, certifications, licenses, and continuing education. Everybody cares about compensation. This section covers about how people are paid, but it also covers policies like bonuses and overtime pay. Benefits are important too. Many farms offer benefits in the form of housing and farm perks like food and meals. It's a good idea to spell out how leave is to be requested and whether or not paid leave is available. Safety and health are very important. If someone gets hurt while at work, or if something is damaged, they do need to know what your procedure is for documenting injuries and accidents. This is also a good place to make it clear that your employees need to wear protective clothing and equipment. And follow the farm safety practices. And attend required safety trainings. Worker protections will vary by state, and this section should be reviewed by a lawyer or your state's Department of Labor to ensure that your business policies protect you and your workers. Discipline and termination policies and requirements will also vary by state. In general, you do not want to include in your manual policies or procedures that you don't plan to carry out consistently. For example, if you say three infractions will lead to termination, but only apply that rule in one case and not in others, the terminated employee may have a case for wrongful termination. Before we go, I have a few more tips. First, make sure that you date all revisions so that you can be sure that everyone is using a current document. Whatever you do, don't use internet templates verbatim. The manual should reflect your farm's rules and your farm's regulatory environment. Also, you should try to make sure that your employees who don't speak English or who have limited literacy do understand the manual. Consider translation or video files as a supplement. And with that, I'd like to thank my funders for creating this video series and the project team that helped put these materials together. And thank you for listening.